Hello everyone and happy Monday. I hope you're all having an excellent start to your week or start to your weekend depending on how that falls for you. Welcome back to Secret World Legends. The cosmic horror MMORPG made by Funcom set on modern day Earth where we are currently a cowgirl named Tinderfoot who works for the Templar. Now, I've done a little work off screen to go ahead and get us to level 12 so we can continue with the main mission, Dawning of an Endless Night, where we are trying to locate Joe Slater before he green oozed his way into a sewer. Yeah. So yeah, let's go get in the sewers. I'll meet you there. Okay, we are in the sewers beneath Kingsmith, and oh, it looks like the zombies are here, too. Joy of joys. Hey, babe. Nope. Okay, seriously? Don't throw up on people. It's gross. It's unhygienic. Do you want diseases? Because that's how you get diseases. Oh, the Draugr down here, too. Hmm. Find Joe Slater. I'm not sure where this man is. Hello? Well, he's not that way. Oh, it's an egg. What if you... What if you didn't get to hatch? What if that was a thing? Hi! Are you still alive? Oh, yes. Now you are not. There you are. Whoop! Didn't kill it in time. That happens. Hey! No! No! I do kind of picture that particular Chaos Magic power is just slapping them to death, uh, in a Bugs Bunny style manner. Ooh, you look mean. Nope. We're not doing this today. Oh, there's a barrier. Okay. Hello? Oh, that's bad. Okay, so I guess I'm stuck out here for a bit. Got to get her hit rating up. I'm so tired of Lansing. Hello? Alright, the timing's getting a little better. Buddy, nobody... N nobody's coming? Did you really call for people? No one came, so you're like, Oh, well, I guess I gotta go? Did, is that really what you did? Okay, bye. Don't do weird, creepy fog to me next time. Ooh, that's a big mama. There are a lot of eggs here. Ma'am, are these your eggs? On a scale of 1 to 10, how mad are you about to be at me? Okay, so if I... Fight her there. Uh. No. Oh! You suck. Let go of me. What are you doing? Huh? I'm so. S oh, she's going to hatch them herself. Okay. And down she goes. Hello? I'm gonna kill these things before I talk to you. I don't trust these things. Hello? Quick access oh. inventory updated. Look on your face as even my good side is worse for wear. I've been trying not to think about the changing. 
Like it could all be a bad dream I had woken up from. <clears throat> nightmares. All nightmares. Since that storm blew us off course. <clears throat> Dude, your face. Off the compass. Off the map. <clears throat> we didn't tell anyone about the shit we saw. About dead ships all caught up in red weed as far as you could see. <clears throat> about the things moving in the fog. In the water. About what we saw beneath it all, deep into the abyss. <laughs> or what I found there, in that dungeon darkness, shone like a signal flare. Like something fallen down from heaven above, you understand? A blade made of pure light, a thing of terrible beauty. I could hear its siren song, just, just calling me. <clears throat> Last I remember was the Creed boys hollering as I took a hold of it. Or it took a hold of me. I wasn't strong enough, I, I know that now. They told me it pushed back the fog and the waves while I was out cold. Told me it saved us. It didn't save us. That thing brought the fog back to Kingsman. I... Brought the fog back to Kingsmouth. <gasps> and I still hear that silent song. I know you hear it too. You could find it. You could stop that god awful noise. Put that burning brightness back where it belongs. In the deep, in the dark. I wonder what would have happened if I never left that Red Sea. Maybe Joe Slater never did. And all this is just some pitch dark dreaming. I bet those barnacles on his arm itch. Okay, use the siren song and follow it. Hi. Okay, you're for a quest. You're not my problem. I've already picked that up. So let's use the siren song and follow it. Sorry, I just really like the song. Someone ripped it and, or whatever it's called, and made a uh, ringtone out of it. Trespassers. Just before the fog hit Kingsmith, a local called Old Tom filed a complaint against the sheriff to remove Morning Light members trespassing on his land. In the chaos since then, no one seems to have heard from Tom in the Morning Light camp. Seems to have heard from Tom in the Morning Light camp is still there. Tom seemed very upset with the trespassers. He even threatened to make take matters into his own hands. Read the whole complaint, then look for Tom. Ah, that noise that we just heard is an important noise that you'll hear again. The radio sounds. My goodness. Type of complaint, hippies. Would you goddamn cops do your goddamn job and get those goddamn hippies off my land? It ain't a campground and they've been up to some merry shit. I've tried making my case peaceful-like, and they up and threatened me. Now one of my dogs has gone missing. I swear, if you won't do something about it, I'm gonna take it into my own goddamn hands. Signature, Atkins. I mean, if my dog went missing, I'd also be very mad. We're going to be hearing that noise again. Maintenance tunnels. This is where the song was leading us. Hmm? 
back on Dawning of an Endless Night. Hmm. Okay. Gotta jump over a laser! Listen, platforming in an MMO is a little difficult. I'm sure people who play Final Fantasy XIV understand this pain. Ooh, hello. Oop. Coming from here. Oh! Finally silenced the incessant noise and moved it to a safer place. So where did- Away from here. I'm not in a sharing mood, Cassandra, and the moaning isn't helping. <sighs> That's not what you said last night. Oh, baby, I thought we had something. Something magic. Black as space and red as blood. <sighs> this is so very far beyond you, little girl. Fuck off. I've seen the beyond, and I'm a fast learner. I'm ready for more than this. Give me something. Let me in. Let me do what I'm good at. What? Getting the boys to sign over their lives for a snog? I'll tell you what you can do. We're spreading an idea, but that idea won't take hold without carriers. You keep spreading those long legs of yours to recruit more foot soldiers. Be still, my beating heart. Here's what I don't get, Beaumont. You have what you've been looking for. Your precious magic sword. You control the armies of the living dead. You pretty much own this island. So the question is... Why the sour face? I mean, what is it that you're... You're missing something, right? Now, this is interesting. Your treasure, your... your precious... You can't use it, can you? I mean, the spirit is willing, but the flesh... Oh my, the flesh is limp. Watch it, little girl. You have no idea what... What? What? You want to know what this is really about, Cassie, dear, when it all comes down to it? Mm. Change. Evolution. A new dawn. The world tree will shake. The sun will turn black. And the gods themselves will fall. We are rebooting the world. That's the thing, isn't it? What everyone talks about. It's the big headline. The dawning of a new age, right? Title Tokyo, drop. the endless night. I like it. There's poetry to it. And oh, does it suit you, the evil sorcerer thing. It's sexy. The answer is in the archives somewhere. It has to be. They knew about it, the gateway to the black heart of the island. I have the key, but... The lock. The lock is the fucking thing. Wait, didn't you say that the lock... I've been around long enough to recognize the flavor of the day, Cassie. You're it. <clears throat> oh, really? So that's it. That's how you repay me, you piece of shit. No more. Take one last good look at what you're missing. Lover boy. Useless bitch. The Illuminati and their bloody labyrinths. Okay, so Beaumont is the one that we need to take care of.
How interesting. Examine Beaumont's note. That's definitely the Illuminati symbols. Black Heart of the Island, Illuminati Archives, fucking tunnels. Must be an entrance, but where? Several entrances all lead to archives. One, basement secret, forgotten, inconspicuous. Aerial view, scenic tour. It looks like we're going to the airport. Reach character level 14. Uh, of course. Well, that's fine. We've got things to do. I'll see you guys at the morning light camp. All right, here we are at the morning light camp and we are searching for old Tom. Made a point of hippie camp, huh? Made a point of uh, hitting the anima well on our way back since that's a resurrection and teleport point. Ooh, I see a lore. And I see old Tom, old Tom's corpse. Do, 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 do. No, get out of my way. Thank you. I would like a lord, please. Morning light. The philosophy of the movement is change, necessary change, mental and metaphysical change for the better. Mankind stagnates in the quagmire of modern civilization, the literature boldly proclaims, but humanity is ready for its next level of existence. Morning light presentations, lessons, and products dramatically accelerate the parishioner's spiritual journey up the ladder to infinitude. The progress to the next age of humanity, something to progress to the next age of the humanity, something drastic must happen. Sure, that's not a cult at all. This is totally a cult. All right, we gotta look for more literature. I guess this is it. Oh, Walter Berry. <sighs> what got you interested in the morning light? I hate my job, man. I got kids, and that's hard. They're like people I don't know a thing about. Everyone's strangers, man. I want to know people. I want to love and be happy. I saw your brochure, and I'm interested, I guess. I don't know. Spend time with your kids. A self-help camp in the middle of the apocalypse. How wonderfully American. The Morning Light is a new age movement that has grown exponentially these past years. Their charismatic leader is Philip Marcaud. A painfully dull man, from what I hear. I don't think... Painfully dull men don't make good cult leaders. They make enlightenment sound so terribly easy. Life requires rolling up one's sleeves, I'm afraid. Of course, people don't want to hear that. Easier to just buy an overpriced DVD. Presto, happiness. Thanks, Sonic. Truly groundbreaking revelations. Man, look at all these hippies. Who are you? Hell yeah. We're with the morning light. You've seen the flyers, you've seen our commercials, you've probably even talked to some of our good people. Can't escape the light, my friend. It's all fucking encompassing. Like air. We're like air. Breathe it. So some people feel a need to badmouth us. Big fucking deal. Happened to Jesus. Happened to the Buddha. It was bound to happen to Philip Marcard as well. There are some that won't even see the light, you know? They're jealous of those who do and they want to destroy it. Oh, setting up the us versus them. Morning light is about change, about improvement, about shedding our shells and, you know, sprouting wings. Like a motherfucking butterfly, my friend. We're all about freedom. About casting off our tired old lives and starting anew in the light of a new sun. Didn't Beaumont have suns on his little dress shirt thing? There's a lot of sun motifs going on here. And the end is coming, good buddy. We need to prepare. 
We need to help get it done. We can't sit and wait for the world to turn, no. We need to turn it. We need action. In the morning light, we're all about the action. We're all about making change happen, and happen right now. Oh, buddy. Buddy, buddy. Beaumont's got a direct line with Marcard himself. Knows him personally. That's like knowing someone who knew Jesus, you know? The red telephone to our motherfucking savior. I mean... But is Marcard Judas or is he Peter? The morning light saved my life. Beaumont saved my life. Thirty years ago when we met, I was a wreck. Strung on it, man, and ready to roll over and die. Couldn't move forward, didn't have anything to live for. But the morning light, they gave me hope. They made me see that there's a future for those who believe in change. I don't remember the exact details of what happened around that time. I'm pretty sure I was in Amsterdam at some point, and then I woke up somewhere in Scotland, and after that, uh, I have a memory of being in. Venice. At some point from there, Bowman grabbed a hold of me and yanked me back into reality. But all I had left from that time was a weird tattoo, a missing toe, and faith in the motherfucking morning light. Amen. Okay, Che. Rolls downhill. A courier must make a speedy delivery of an important package, but many dangers lurk outside the safety of the camp. A courier was sent with a package for a person only referred to as B. That must be Beaumont. It seemed very important and even more urgent. He can't have gotten far. Follow following him would be easy. Bring this to the rendezvous point and get the hell back to Dodge. Don't stop for red lights. Don't stop for a smoke. Don't stop for a piss. Comprende, amigo? Wait, wait! What the fuck? Wait! We're not done, amigo! Listen, don't fuck this up. Focus. Focus. Leave this circle, and you gotta watch your back. Plenty of creepy crawlers out there, no voodoo to keep you safe. But this is what you signed up for, right? There's more to the morning light than clean living, handing out flyers on the subway and trying to get vertical with Miss Dreadlocks from Orientation Week. We're harbingers of change, dude. We're prophets of mutation. We're disciples of doom. But change won't happen unless we up and act. Sure, Rome wasn't built in a single day, but it sure as hell wasn't built by deadbeat procrastinators lazing around on their asses, smoking weed, either. Just get it done. Bees on me 24-7, dude. That's how this thing works. Shit rolls downhill. And the boss has made it pretty clear this is important, and it's got to be taken care of now, not later. Not when you feel like it. Toot fucking sweet. Comprende? Everybody's got to pull their fucking weight, dude. Anybody else is just dead weight. That's a cigarette. That is just a cigarette. Definitely just a cigarette. All right, let's get going. Follow the courier. Uh, oh. Well? Hey! Hey, get back here! I need that! Visual tracking initiated. Visual tracking initiated. Follow the blood trail. Uh, sucks to suck, dude. Sucks to suck. What? Okay. So whatever that was, that looked like the thing from the side quest we did towards the start. Stole that package. Why would it steal a package? Kill the sanguine wendigo to recover the package. Hi. What are you- don't lean winter me. No healing for you. No one gets to heal. Face down, it's not- okay, now it's going. Chase down the sanguine wendigo. Hey, get back here. Please let me sprint, thank you. I know I cannot sprint that fast, but... Oh, he waited for me. That was very sweet of him. I got caught up on geometry. Where are we going? 
Where are we going, buddy? New colony span bridge. New animal well. Buddy. Hey. Give me stuff. That's my package. If you give me that package, I will leave you alone. Just... Ju just give me the package. Just... This is... You're making things unnecessarily difficult. Don't you... Don't do it! Don't do it! Ugh... Oh, zombies. Let's go, buddy. Got my sparkle corn out. Where are we going? Oh, no, my sparkle corn! Uh... I'm sorry, guy. I, I can't play with you right now. I gotta chase this guy. Hey! Hey, buddy! Hey! Hey, buddy! Just give me the package! Just give me... Just give me the package. Just give me this. Thank you. Give the package to the courier at the bridge. Wait, I'm actually gonna give it to this guy? Oh! Oh, you didn't die! Yeah, I guess. One may have been tempted to peek inside the morning light package, but clearly you are seeing the long game. I dare say I'm rubbing off on you. Please don't. We shall learn more about the morning light by infiltrating them than by ripping open their mail. That sort of tactic attracts unwelcome attention. We're not sure of their angle yet, but spiritual good will it isn't. No, but spiritual good will it isn't. We're not sure of their angle yet, but spiritual goodwill isn't it. We have nothing incriminating on their savior, Philip Marcod, but this local leader, Che, has a long list of infractions. Theft, assault, smuggling. However, our real interest is in the one they call B. Because that's Beaumont. And according to Cassie, he's our dude. Abandoned Orochi van. Badge of honor. Near the abandoned Orochi van, there are signs of struggle and a trail of blood leads down towards the water. Something bad happened here, and only the trail will give answers. Visual tracking initiated. I like how we see that there is a trail of blood, so we're like, yeah, sure, I'm just gonna follow that. Like, I know something bad happened. I know something bad happened. Hi, you're in my way. Have you considered not being in my way, sir? Hi, you are also in my way. Woo! Uh -huh. Orochi agent's corpse. Well, that's just normal. Bloodied Orochi employee ID badge. Deliver the ID card to the Orochi officers. So for those of you unfamiliar with the setting, Orochi being dead is just like standard. It's weird when they're alive. Gonna Naruto run our way over to the Orochi. Ooh. Okay, so there's the helicopter we've been seeing. Hello. I see a lore. All right, and I think the Orochi camp is where we're going to end it for the day. Thank you everyone for joining me. I hope you have a pleasant week. I will see you again on Wednesday for the first episode of Dredge, which I'm super excited about. It's a lot of fun. At least I'm having a lot of fun. Remember to like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, and leave your thoughts down below. What's up with Beaumont? Who is Cassandra? What are these morning light guys about and who are these Orochi people? Well, until Wednesday. Thank you.